All right, so um, the next thing we might want to do to start to customize this would be to uh, add louvers to the system. All right, louvers um, are actually uh, quite simple. It takes a little bit of a trick. Let me downsize Revit here. Uh, a little bit of a trick, but um, once you learn the trick, it's really simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, new curtain wall system. Um, it's called uh, Louver, and in this one I'm not going to have any um, vertical moldings. I'm just going to have horizontal, and I might kind of have those be somewhat dense, six inches, so I can get rid of all of this stuff. And then I'm going to keep this. Um, well, actually, I'll go with this at one and a half by two and a half inch, but I probably will go and adjust that uh, to be a better kind of louver size. So now, of course, this is if I'm going to create horizontal uh, louvers. If I want to go vertical, I would just kind of do that uh, inverse and select that. So I'm going to say OK. All right, nothing really changed because I haven't really assigned those to anything. But the next step would be to go to um, to your level that you're going to apply these and I'm going to build a wall that's using the uh, curtain wall louver and so it seems a little strange but what I'm basically going to do is build a, um, a wall on top of a wall so I'm just going to click here and there going to tell that new wall tab through until I select it I probably need to go to uh, 3d view to make sure I'm going to get the right one. Okay, so here's that new wall. And you can see it's really dense. So now I just need to kind of um, tell it where I want this. So it's on level one. I'm going to just start these louvers maybe about just above eye height, so seven feet. And then I'm going to constrain them to only go uh, up to, uh, I really should probably give myself um, kind of another elevation mark. Let's just zoom in here, and what I'll do is go ahead and grab this, and at 20 feet, this will be uh, top of um, curtain wall. Even though I know that. Uh, I'm actually shooting it all the way to the roof. Uh, that would give me something to kind of base uh, the louver and you know, attach it to. So, okay. Go to 3D view. Select my new wall. I'm going to give it the top constraint of top of curtain wall. Apply. Uh, base offset. I'm going to put that at seven feet, unconnected height, I'll delete that I think because now I'm putting it there, let's see if that, okay, that looks great. So let's take a look, uh, I'll go to my 3D view and you can start to see uh, this uh, louver system uh, show up. Now exactly where it is placed uh, in relationship to the other curtain wall, uh, interior curtain wall, uh, I just have to probably adjust it. Actually, it looks like it's pretty good. But you might notice that the curtain wall, the louvers themselves are really chunky. Um, bad design, right? So this is where I'm going to again go into those families 
there's a I'm in the family um, part of the browser and I'm going to find the curtain um, not curtain panels but the curtain mullions and I'm probably just going to grab one of these rectilinear mullions and I'll adjust it so let's just take this one and a half or actually this two and a half by five inch I'm going to duplicate it I'll call this out as a louver and I'll go in and adjust this so um, five inches is thickness um, that actually might be uh, reasonable for a louver, but I really don't like uh, this being so thick. So I'm just going to turn this down to like say three eighths of an inch. So it'll be end up being uh, because it'll I'm going to put three eighths of an inch on either side, it'll end up being a three quarter inch thick. So I'll say OK to that, and then I should go in and go and edit the louver curtain wall and change this rectilinear one to my louver. I'll apply that and now we see this really nice thin uh, horizontal louver. I can also um, I think, let me see if I can Gonna say I was gonna look to see if I couldn't change the angle. It doesn't look like I have that control uh, in here, uh, but for now I'll keep these perpendicular. So there you go. That's how you would add louvers, and it would make a lot of sense in a pavilion such as this if we're gonna do a glazing system uh, to start to look at the various cardinal directions and apply uh, louvers as as would be necessary. Now of course for good design. On the west side uh, and east side, vertical mullions might look or perform better. So you have to just kind of uh, think about your own design. Now, given none of these models I am completing, I'm just kind of giving you the basics and uh, obviously expect the curtain wall to kind of close off uh, the uh, the entire container and some of these gaps and stuff to be filled in. So, all right.